oftentimes we'd like to measure the, the length of something, say the outer diameter of this washer, or maybe even the inner diameter. And that presents a challenge when we put it on a typical ruler with a metric scale. If I put it right here and then bring my magnifying glass, and if we zoom in on this, we see right away the problem that so often plagues us, and that is finding the in-betweenness of the smallest marking. On this scale, the smallest marking is millimeters, but what happens when the edge of the washer is in between two of those markings? We can't really resolve well enough besides a millimeter. We might be able to go to a half millimeter, just kind of guessing where the halfway point is, but it's going to be very difficult to resolve beyond that. What we turn to is a vernier caliper. The vernier caliper is designed with this sliding scale to measure the in-betweenness of the smallest markings on the major scale. So we'll see how that works. But first, looking at this vernier caliper, it can measure in three different fashions. This would be used to measure the outside diameter, this the inside diameter, and then, kind of hard to operate with one hand, but when we slide this out, at the other end is a plunger. So let me show you how each of those would work. Here I have a, the body of a rocket. And let's say I want to measure the outside diameter. So I'm just going to slide this vernier scale out. It's important to know that when it's closed, uh, the vernier scale reads zero. And we'll look at that with a magnifying glass. But we just open it up and put it on the outside of this rocket. And then it's a good idea to lock the vernier caliper with a thumb screw, if there is one. Others just work with friction. And then it's locked and we do the measurement. Now let's see how we measure the inside diameter. See with the top caliper there, we would simply place this inside here, and when it spreads out, I'm having a hard time seeing through the video finder, so I have to move my head a little bit. When it spreads out, see that is allowed to measure the inside diameter. And then to plunge something, here I have a battery. If we wanted to measure the height of the battery, we could just put the vernier caliper on the edge of the battery and plunge it down. See up here I'm just moving this down. And the plunger is going down until it hits the table. Okay, And then we have this measurement for the battery. So I've locked it down there on the battery. And we'll take the reading of the length of the battery. Oh, and then I'll have to bring it back to zero because I promised I would do that. So when we look at this scale, one mistake a lot of students make is they take the edge of the vernier right here, this edge, and they see where the edge of the vernier lines up with the major scale there. But instead we want to use the zero point. And here we see that the zero is just past the 5.9 measurement. So 5.9 is the first part of our measurement. The vernier scale is going to tell us the next decimal place, and actually the one after that. The little half tick marks in between the, the counters on the vernier scale means we can measure one half between 3 and 4. Okay, so the 3 is the next decimal place. So again, we have 5.9, and what we're looking for is some line along the vernier scale that lines up very nicely with the major scale. And I see right here the 2 lines up really well. If I go down here, see those vernier lines are not matching up with the major scale. So right here the 2 is lined up. It could have been the 2.5, but it looks like the 2. So to do this reading, I'm going to say 5.9. Two zero. The reason I can have a zero on the end is because it may have been at the half, which would have been 5.925. Now to illustrate what happens when this is closed, let's close up this vernier caliper. And when it's closed, it's very important to note that the zero on the sliding vernier scale is lined up with the zero on the major scale. So that's how to measure with a vernier caliper.